Welcome back. It is perhaps the most terrifying of any type of highway accident. You may never look at a semi truck the same way again after watching this report. Hey, yeah, good evening, Kim and Josh. In case you're wondering what's an underride, it's that, let me show you, it's that open area between the wheels underneath the trailer. And you can see it's pretty easy for a car to go underneath. This test at the Insurance Institute of Highway Safety shows why you have little chance of survival in a side underride collision. Your airbags and your seatbelts don't help protect you inside the vehicle because the first point of impact is the windshield and then your head. Underride crashes kill at least 300 people a year. Now to a terrible coincidence, a violent crash this week in Murfreesboro that we've resembled so many others involving cars and semi trucks. There was a similar accident on the Northwest Tollway near Hoffman Estates, and this one last year in Gary. We've got a uh, car that went up underneath the semi. And the... I used to be a truck driver and I saw on the interstate a lot of things that happened to people that went under trailers, and it wasn't pretty. 24-year-old Yolandria Davis, the mother of two children, was on her way to work. Did she stand a chance? No. She was killed instantly. From my understanding, her neck was broken. And if you happen to survive... You're dealing with open skull fractures, spinal cord injuries, traumatic brain injuries. Close to about 1,000 a year uh, survive inside underwrite accidents but are severely and permanently disabled. Like Zhen Ming Chen, he's been in a coma since 2006. Josh Rojas of Parma survived a truck under ride crash on the Lorraine Carnegie Bridge, barely. A skull fracture, traumatic brain injury, paralysis of one arm, and blindness in one eye. A new safety device could prevent hundreds of deaths on the road each year. Underride guards keep cars from sliding beneath heavy trucks in what can be gruesome accidents. Guards are currently required. Side guards like this being installed recently on a truck at Thomas Transport in Macedonia. They're steel bars designed to stop a car from sliding under a big truck. Well, the general idea behind this is to match the, the height of the car to the height of the trailer. They're concealed by a fuel efficient skirt. This one called Angel Wing. The NTSB has now released these safety recommendations to try and prevent underride deaths. And today, many truckers say they agree. Then they tested underride guards in a 35 mile an hour crash. It prevented the car from going underneath, and consequently, the airbags and seatbelts were able to protect the driver dummy in that, those crash tests. The truck either runs a red light or the car runs a red light. Uh, you shouldn't die because somebody runs a red light. What you see here is absolutely typical of what these crashes really look like if you have a trailer that doesn't have under guard protection. The semi involved in Monday's crash did not have the side under right guards. Cars, they go underneath their tires and that's ugly. But you have something on the side of them, I, I'd have to agree with something like that for safety work. Save somebody else's life. Put those rails on those trucks. 